take this opportunity to welcome, as you are aware, I'm a candidate of, of, of the football chairmanship. I have been in football for long, since 19, 19, 1990. I'm challenging the, 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 the other candidates who are coming in that we don't not only have to come when we are when we are rushing for elections. If you call yourself an old player, for instance, you have to tell Kenyans, since you stop playing, what have you been doing? It's very simple. Which club have you helped? Me, I've helped more than more than more than 20 clubs, I can assure you. I helped Shabana, I'm helping Rangers, I'm helping Kuinda uh, Club in, in current where, 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 where and that's leadership. So we want to challenge those ones who are coming now because elections are around the corner to tell us what they have been doing. You don't just rush and stand for elections. So that is a challenge and I'm advising the electorate to be very, very careful, very vigilant of, of, of people are coming to, the, to, uh, to uh, for elections now when they have actually never done anything to support the football in this country. Today, the um, there's been a lot of speculation about Rangers players leaving, and we've commented on it before. Officially, we have not released a single player. I think um, certain manipulations within the King's Court um, has um, allowed players to be registered with other clubs, and we term this as double registration. And, and there are rules and regulations that has to be observed. And, and compliance etc and I'm sure in the fullness of time this will be sorted out. Where we are at Rangers right now the morale is very high as the chairman has says we have regrouped, we have realigned, we've got new players, new blood and we're looking forward. We're, th we're now throwing down the gauntlet to the other clubs to beat us because we're ready, we're prepared to go to war now. We're ready to go. Concerning the players, have you talked to Kenyan Premier League and um, what, what are their stand? I think our main preoccupation right now has been within um, the playing unit to um, rebuild um, the confidence bridge, 
we build um, certain technical aspects that the coach has been concentrating on. And looking at the organisation aspects of, of, of the club, the, um, those extraneous factors, I know we have um, given instructions to our lawyers to deal with those issues because they, they do impinge on, on legal matters. So we're, we're not going to preoccupy ourselves with that right now. Well, the players we have are adequate and they will do the job for Rangers Football Club this forthcoming second half of the season. Thank you. of the local sports industry has been quite tremendous in the recent past. Even with the fast approaching elections, you realize that there's so much talent on the ground. As you can see behind me, there are some players who are training. Now, joining me today is Samuel Eyinda to take us through a discussion on the developments of the soccer scene. Buena Samuel, yes. welcome today. Yes, we are happy to be here today. Now, Samuel, there is so much in the local sports in currently, elections, so much promising talent. Where do you see the local soccer scene at this moment? Yes, true, as you said, uh, there's so much happening. Uh, we've seen a tremendous improvement from uh, the previous years where the soccer in Kenya had, uh, literally died. But uh, what's happening now is that people are trying to come up, building the sport. And uh, I can say it's a good thing. In, in the near future, we'll see our players uh, all over Europe, and that's what we want, really. Okay, currently with the Kenyan Premier League, which team do you think is a quite a competitor? Which are the best teams for you in the league? Okay, the, uh, I would like to say, first of all, <laughs> <laughs> You're still tuned in to this edition of Game On. And as we conclude, I would like to ask our guest Sam just to really give us where he thinks the local sports scene is going, considering this young talent behind me. Uh, there's so much potential. Uh, hope is not lost yet. And I'm confident that uh, soon, very soon, Kenya will be back to to, to the team, the team of uh, African soccer, where we were sometimes in 1987. When remember when we lost one win to Egypt in, in the All African Games. Yeah, that is where we are headed to, and we'll go beyond that. We just need a little bit of seriousness in management of soccer, and we'll be there. Nothing much. Okay, thank you very much for being with us, viewers. You are still tuned on to this edition of Game On, coming to you on. African Sports Network, ASN, keep it locked in cooperation with Kenyan Star. <laughs>